In this piano tutorial, we'll be learning how to play the song How Great Thou Art in the key of C major. And this song was requested through the comment section, so feel free to leave any song request down below. And like always, I'll be sharing my approach to the song using some gospel or jazz chord substitutions and passing chords. And hopefully you're able to take these lessons, take these concepts and apply them to other songs as well. Now, the basic chords to the beginning verse of this song are... I like starting on the five, right? Oh Lord, my God. We go to the one. Right? And that repeats again in the second verse. Now, let's see what we can do to these three chords and what chords we can add to make it sound more advanced harmonically speaking right so first off for the five um instead of playing a basic five since it's functioning as a passing chord right before the one right almost like a secondary dominant i like adding the dominant right here the minor seventh i also like altering the chord slightly so while maintaining the melody note right here on the top i like flatting the ninth i keep the third and i also like flatting the the fifth right right here it sounds a little bit dissonant but in context it works out okay so so oh lord my god we get into the one chord and for the one chord i'm playing a, a major 9 13th voicing right all i'm doing is adding this 13th or sixth right this seventh and this ninth and then i just add that to this chord and it makes it sound a little bit fuller so i'm gonna play through it and then i'll explain the rest of the chords okay Right, so what I did after I started on the five and went to the one, I played a set of passing chords that would lead me to the four. Usually we use the five, one, four progression to get to the four, right? So what I did was substitute the five and the one for something similar but slightly different, right? I instead used uh, this flat seven over the two, right? So. And I played it in a way that it maintained the melody, so um, something like this. So da, na, 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 da, na. this is the two, then the three, and then we land on the four. And in this case, I'm playing it as a major ninth voicing. Okay. Now, in here, what I'm doing is thinking about substitutions that i can do for the next chord which is a one right we do da, 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 da. but instead of going to the one i want to go to the three which serves most of the time as a as a substitution for the one right right and it even fits in with the melody but to get to this three i play a minor two five one so i do sorry i was on the four so i do two five one right so this one or the three is functioning as a one we just do a two so an f sharp half diminished then a five and in this case this five is a flat a seven flat nine right and really easily uh an easy way to get this chord or get different variations for this chord is just thinking about the diminished chord right i, I press the the main chord the root which is b and then i go to the fifth and from the fifth i just go up three half steps right i go up three go up three 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 more you can go the rest of the piano and you can even omit some of the notes right to get different sounds right so in this case i played it like this and then we land on the three, okay? So, three, and 
from the three, I go to the six, which is basically just following the circle of fourths, right? Three, six, right? For the six, we have different voicings that we can use as long as we maintain that melody. And then we use a two. In this case, I'm playing it as a D minor ninth, 11th. And if you analyze this chord, um, it's almost as if we were just playing a a minor seven over D minor, right? In this open type of voicing, right? And then for the five, we go back to that beginning voicing that we use, that alteration or that G altered. The only thing is that this F used to be a G, but again, just trying to maintain the melody. Right, so once again, repeats again so let's move on into the chorus of the song and again the basic chords um to the chorus of the song we start on the on the five again as a passing chord then sings my one the four da, 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 one. very simple how great the then a five Back to the one. Da, 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 one. Da, four, da, da. Then back to the one. Da, 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 da. And back to the one, right? So these are the basic chords to the chorus of the song. Now let's get creative with these chords and include some of the alterations that that we like to do okay so um we can sort of move up the register since we're in the chorus of the song this is a one of the voicings that i like to use right and this is basically just an e minor over a c major right and that gives us that c major seventh if we include this D note right here, we get a C major nine. Okay, so da, 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 da. now the next chord is a four, right? Da. But instead of going directly to a four, let's include a passing chord, and this is one of my favorite ones, right? It's sort of a um, sort of like a tritone, right? So I'm playing this F sharp nine sharp eleven, and the reason why it's I call it a tritone is because usually when we go to the four, we from the one we use the one as the dominant, right? Da, 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 da. Dominant, and then we go to the four, right? Because of that dominant sound, sort of leads to the four. But instead of playing a dominant on the C, I use um, a dominant on the F, right? And in this case, again, I alter some of the notes, but you can even just keep it as a regular dominant um, F sharp, right? So, right, and it's an easy way to use these tritones as passing chords. So once again, this is the voicing that I use, and then we land on the four, which is a F major add to. Now from here, um, what I like to do is play a diminished chord, right? But not just any diminished chord. We, like always, I like maintaining the melody. So let's explore the melody. It goes. It lands on the C. So here we play an F sharp diminished seventh like this. And then we go into a C over G. So. And from the from C over G, um, A minor or the sixth chord is a typical substitution for the one, right? In this case, we're playing a one, so we can play around with the six as well, right? So it would sound something like this. Da, 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 da.
we can go to the six but instead of simply going to the six let's play around with a, a passing chord right so right this is a, a typical gospel type of progression where we go from the three to the six but using some diminished chord so all i did here was play an e major and from here i went to f sharp as a diminished seventh chord and all i did from here is go up chromatically each note just goes up one half step so so once again Right, all the way up to A flat diminished seventh, and from here we get to the six. And in this case, I play the six as an A minor nine eleventh voicing. Okay, so once again. And then from here we go into the two chord. How great thou art. Two, and then a five. Again, this two five one, this minor two five one that we did before, we can even include it here. Five. Again, this is an altered five type of voicing, and it's it, a very simple trick to get this five sound. What I do is, I know that I played an F over D, right? So all I did was bring this F down chromatically, and then I just played a, a five on my left hand with, um, with the dominant or minor seventh. And then we're back to the one. Okay, so that's basically the whole song. And what I want to do now is play it through without any interruptions. That way you get a better idea of how it sounds. And hopefully you're able to take something extra from this section of the video. Thank you. 